Hello, this is Oscar with Discount Truck Accessories, and today we're going to be showing you how to install a Diamondback tonneau cover. I'm here with George today. He's going to give us a runaround on what's involved in the install. As you can see, the Gold Ring Cross Plate. The Gold Ring Cross Plate is attached with four C clamps. You install them very lightly. Don't tighten them all the way. You'll have to make adjustments later, which you'll see in a minute. And then you secure the uh, front Gold Wing lid onto the barrel hinges do the same at the rear helps to have some help on this one once you get it set check your alignment both sides make sure it's even make sure there aren't any gaps at the corners very important <clears throat> About how far in the process would you say you are at this point, George? Uh, actually, it's about halfway done. It's a real easy install. You can do it by yourself if you had to. Uh, obviously, it helps to have someone. Okay, and alignment. Is alignment a hard part of the install, or is it uh, pretty easy? I think the alignment is probably the hardest part of it all, actually. Um, you, you can see the installation itself is very, very easy. Just four clamps. It, it's no easier than that. It's the alignment and then <laughs> adjusting your rods there. <laughs> now it looks like you're working with some kind of locking mechanism and uh, looks like uh, you're using some uh, arms to hold the ar uh, door up. Is that right, George? Yeah, they're gas props. They're, uh, they go by weight. <clears throat> For a lid like this, they're probably I don't know, 35 pounds each prop. They do have four. There is a safety arm that goes on the front of the gold wing, which you see there. Now what's this safety arm going to do, George? Uh, kind of like the hood of a car. In the event that it unlatches, there's a safety latch that holds that hood from flying open when you're <coughs> driving down the road. Same concept for the, for the bed cover. Attention is basically focused on getting everything lined up properly. If you're off just a little bit, you can get a leak problem. <clears throat> so you want to make sure you got it uh, centered exactly the way it's got to be. This is an important part of it. You have to have some pressure on top to make sure that those rods are going to secure that lid properly. First, it's going to be a little bit tight because the seal hasn't settled, but you know, after a day or two, it'll settle nice and easy. You want to be sure that the cover isn't too far back or else your tailgate would not close. There's a little uh, a bracket, I guess, on the back of that cover. You'll hit it and damage it, basically, if it's not forward enough. So it looks by this point the install is uh, pretty much done. Just some uh, final adjustments necessary to, you know, align the fit. Exactly, and that's why I said to leave those clamps just hand tight. Because as you can see there, an adjustment had to be made. So I'm going to make sure you leave them just hand tight so you can make your adjustments and then finish tightening it up. Now the same pressure is going to be necessary for the front of the lid as it was for the back of the lid. You want to do that by simply pressing down on the lid and enabling the lock to be set correctly. That's it. That's been George helping us out with the install for discount truck accessories. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Ivan with Discount Friends.
accessories and I hope you like our video. Uh, we appreciate a thumbs up if you did by clicking the thumbs up button down there. If you want to join our channel, you can hit the subscribe button right here and uh, don't forget to click the email notification if you want to be notified uh, of new videos when they come on. And right now, if you want to go to the product page where the rest of the information is on, click that link right down there.